Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, look what just came in. Let's try it out. yogis, yoginis, and everyone in between. I'm Kit, and welcome to Yoga with Kit Souther. I'm so happy you're here. Today we are going to be doing a Lara product review. I have ordered about seven products, more or less, and we're going to try them on. I'm going to give you my honest opinion, how they fit. We're going to talk a little bit about the brand, and I'm going to actually show you my receipt and all of the items that were on sale. I will say, all of my items that I bought, they were all on sale. I, <laughs> no matter I can purchase from I'm like oh, let's get this on sale <laughs> if that's you please tell me in the comment section below let me know I'm not alone I'm like I love a good deal so on this channel we do all things from yoga yoga therapy the yogi lifestyle yoga product reviews so if any of that interests you please go ahead subscribe we also do live streams on Mondays and Thursdays so but yeah so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna stop rambling okay guys now I'm gonna go through all of the prices I'm gonna give you the names of the tops I'm gonna give you the price they originally were and then the discount that I got them for I didn't have to pay for shipping for this order because I had already gone over the limit I think it's a hundred euros maybe to you know to go on through and, and to get the free shipping so I paid over that and then I'm gonna try these on and you can see for yourself what do you think okay so for the first one I got the in my feels basic padded workout crop tank and I got the subdued blue in a small it was originally 2335 and I got it for 1635 the next was the in my feels double strapped packless twisted workout top tank and it's imperial topaz and I got it in an extra small it was originally 30 47 and I got it for 21 33 then the next is the cloudful padded v-neck cropped yoga tank and it's in deep blue I got this one in an extra small for some reason here on my email it doesn't give the original price but it's in red so I'm assuming that I got it for a discount and it puts here 23.35 and then the next one is the deep olive crop top it's the in my feels v-back crossover workout crop tank and it was originally 33.52 and I got it for 23.46 so the next one and I think something happened here because I don't think that I got the color that I asked for is the cloudful crossover pocket plain leggings I got them in fudge and I got them in an extra small but this color looks eggplant. It looks purple. So I'm gonna, in just a few minutes, I'm gonna go back and check the bag and see if it says purple, which I love purple. I have a ton of stuff in purple. The reason that I wanted to get fudge is because I was like, oh, this would be such a cool color. It's kind of hard to find just like brown leggings because I want brown leggings. I really like brown. <laughs> and so I'm like, I really would like brown leggings, but apparently the world was like, no babes, you're not getting brown leggings. So yeah. And then the next was the In My Fields Cloudful Crossover Color Block 7 and uh, 7 eighths leggings in the Windward Blue. These are an extra small as well. They were originally 40 65 and I got them for 28.46. I and I didn't say the price for the Cloudful uh, the fudge ones. Those were originally 50 20, excuse me, 50.82 and I got them for 24.37. So, I mean, that's a really good discount, but please, I hope that <laughs> they're just a mess up with the color. And then the next I got was the scoop neck long sleeve sport top in terracotta pink and a small. It was originally 35.56 and I got it for 30.47. So all of the clothes that I got, they were all on sale, which I'm very thankful for. I, again, don't like buying stuff when it's full price. The retail price was 237 and 72 cents uh, euros and I got the total for mine was 167 and 76 euros which I feel like is a pretty good price again I'm gonna put them in the description right so you can see all of that stuff there as far as the pricing all of that uh, I'm also going to ow, that hurt. I'm also gonna show you guys kind of what the website looks like it gives kind of sheen vibes so from that standpoint I don't love it first come on it's like the oh no user free gift ah, you know type of deal which exit please 
Uh, and then the rest you see, it shows like on the first page, you're gonna get all of the leggings, you're gonna get all the things you can see. Let's just, for example, click, I believe this is one of the ones that I got. Right, and you can see there's a ton of different options for colors, which I do love. There's many different varieties. If you can see, okay, so these are the ones without the pockets, right? So from that standpoint, it's really great. They also have a ton of different sizes. So it goes from extra small all the way to extra large, which is nice. You know, like not bad. It also gives you the model stat, like how is this gonna fit on me? I will say I really like something about this brand. So they do have a plus and curve portion. So no matter your size, I think for the most part, everyone will be able to find the size that works for them. I will say maybe it would be good if they had even a smaller size, like they have extra small, but I think maybe even like an extra, extra small for maybe younger girls or women who are just more petite. I think that could probably be helpful. But yeah, if you just like click on, I don't know, maybe this one, the Cloudful Leggings. This goes all the way up to 3X. So I feel like that's really great. Also, I think it's awesome just to see how leggings and clothes in general look on someone who has more of your body style. So I think that for any of the plus size women, they're being like, I wanna see how this looks on me too. I will say it's great that they have this for, for those women. So from that standpoint, or just like anyone who wants to wear these leggings, right? It doesn't have to be women. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's try these on, and then I'll give you guys my overall opinion on the brand, of the haul, and just how the clothes fit in general. Okay, let's go. Guys, so I originally filmed this in a different location, but I was like, this is not working <laughs> with my mirror, and it didn't work. So I am wearing currently, let's see, I'm wearing the Cloudful Padded V-neck cropped yoga tank in deep blue. I really like it. The only thing I will say here with this, you know how you always have one top that just collects a ton of just anything, like any type of dirt, anything like that. I already can tell this is gonna be that top for me. I put it on, immediately had like deodorant stains and like somehow some of my makeup came on it. I was like, I don't understand. I feel like I executed this well. So <laughs> I will say just first impressions, that's what it's been, but it's very comfortable. I like it. It really sucks you in, which I like that feeling. Sometimes it's too much, but this one, it's a good medium. So yeah, and then these leggings are the In My Feelings Cloudful Crossover Color Block. I will say these look like a completely different shade than the actual picture does. And even in real life, they look different. Like, I like the color. Don't get me wrong, the color's really great. I like this little detail here. Um, but they just aren't the same color. Like, from the picture, you'll see they, they look more, like, light. And these are darker leggings, but that's fine. It's what it is, okay? <laughs> Let's try some more gloves. <laughs> Okay, so I love, love, love this top. This is the top that actually goes with these leggings. So it's a little pair, but I love this top. This top is amazing. It's so comfortable. Definitely the most comfortable out of any, the ones that I've tried on so far. So very happy. The back is like this. It's a little open. This is just like a normal cami. And I feel like you could also pair this with your normal everyday clothes. You know, if you're cool with showing a little bit of midriff, if that's your vibe. That's not really my vibe when I'm doing my normal life. But if I'm just at the house, like this is perfect. It's really comfortable. This is, I mean, this, what size is this? This is a small. So I'm, this is good. I like this a lot. Let's try and some more. Let's try and some more. Let's try and some more. I am obsessed with this back. Like this back is so beautiful. I think this is probably my favorite top thus far. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love this one. This one's great. This is a great one. I highly recommend to any of you girls that like showing a little back. Okay, yes. So, love this. This is the In My Feels V-Back crossover top. Really great. I love this color. Sometimes I feel like greens are either hit or miss, but I have a lot of green. So I was like, oh, I need a top that's green because I have a lot of bottoms that are green that go with green. So yeah, so very excited for this. 
I like this top a lot. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, you guys, so this is definitely not much. This is definitely not the color that I asked for, but damn. Okay, these leggings are so freaking comfortable. <laughs> I'm like not even mad. I know that sounds horrible, but I'm not even mad about my this not being my color because I still really like this color. I am a bit sad though. Hi, Cooper. Hi, sweet baby. I've been filming and he's like, Mom, I love me. Um, but yeah, no, I'm like not even that mad. I like they're so comfortable. I'm a little like, oh, I wish that these were fudge. But the great thing is, I have a ton of purple. Like a ton of my clothes are purple. So from that standpoint, it's great. But these are way comfier than the other ones. And this is the ones with the two pockets, which I didn't know. Cooper, Bina, come here. Come on. Okay. Hold on one second, you guys. I've got to get some love in me. Because they were on sale, I don't think that I can return them, but like, they're cute, so I'm okay. And I'm obsessed with this top. I think any other time outside of winter, this is gonna be very toasty. Like even now in fall, this might be a little too, you know, too wintry to wear, but Wow, I love this fabric and this is actually padded so you don't have to wear a bra underneath it which just makes life better. It makes life better and easier. So I'm loving this. It's similar to the exact same fabric as the others and I actually think on the note it puts what it's made of. For example, yeah, so it says 77% nylon and 23 of elastic. Honestly, super impressed with the way that it feels. All of these clothes feel incredible, but they feel incredible. They feel like your second skin, which I do love that. So yeah, so I am going to go ahead and give you my final review, say kind of the score, my overall thoughts, and all of that job. Okay guys, I went ahead and changed back into my favorite piece from the entire haul. It's definitely this orange cute top with the sweet little open back, the little twist tie in the back. It's just so freaking cute. So overall, I wanna say uh, just an incredible, haul in general like there were no pieces that I didn't really like we've talked about a lot of different aspects of this brand I do want to touch on the aspect of sustainability and this brand is from what I've seen from what I've reckoned is not a sustainable brand so I know a lot of people in just the world in general especially in the yoga community want to have sustainable companies and that's where they want to put their money to and I 100% understand. I will say sometimes with sustainable products and with sustainable companies a lot of people aren't capable of purchasing those items, right? And so that's why fast fashion and that's why companies like Shein and Zaful and other brands along those lines that's why they're so popular is because you can get stuff that, you know, that that fits you, stuff that comes to you in relatively fast time. Whether or not it's ethically made, that's a whole other standpoint, but that is something that I do want to talk about here on my channel and just about these clothes in general. So I went ahead after purchasing these clothes and I wanted to do some research about the brand you know, is it ethical? Is it okay? I found a few websites. I'm going to include one of them down in the description. You know, say what you will about me buying the brand, or buying the brand, <laughs> I didn't buy the brand. Buying the clothes before researching the brand, you know, maybe that's not so great on me, but we all make mistakes, we're all people. This is just something that, you know, looking back at it, I'm like, damn, I should have done that. But I didn't, and now I own these clothes, and I'm just telling you my review of all of these things, okay? So, I went on a website that they kind of, that they do research on different brands, different clothing brands, goodonyou.echo, right? So they did Alara, which is the brand that we're working on, and they gave a rated of not good enough. And the price is very low, the location, they are from Hong Kong. On it, he puts here, Halara does not communicate sufficient information about its environmental and labor policies. So, that's not great, right? Um, sustainable, sustainability rating, the planet, two out of five people, one out of five animals, zero out of five. The brand provides insufficient relevant information about how it reduces its impact on people, the planet, and animals. 
goals. You have a right to know how the products you buy affect the issues you care about. Uh, but overall, it was rated not good enough, but that's all that it put. So I'm guessing that, that Alara, we can't really say if it's ethically made or not because we don't know enough about the brand. The brand is only two years old, so I think that that's something that we should put into effect, but yeah, with most brands, we still wanna know you know how the clothes are made, who makes the clothes, what are the policies for the people that make the clothes, how does this affect our, our environment. So I think from those standpoints as people we do have to kind of ask the the brand, we have to say or the company say hey you know what's going on here, how can we change this or how what are the working conditions for the people who are making your clothing. So from that standpoint I do want to just say that because, like I said, this is not a sponsored video. I'm here talking to you honestly. This is something that I think we all should talk about as a community and, you know, just know moving forward that, again, like I said, not everyone can afford these brands that are made by hand or made in the country that you're purchasing them from. So I'm not bashing anyone that buys from any of these companies because I think honestly the majority of people in the world do that but I do think that it is important for us to think about where our clothing comes from what we buy how we endorse companies so you know that's kind of how this goes um, maybe one day we'll know more about it obviously if you want to buy from this company it is your right as a consumer as a purchaser to do that uh, I will say that from what I have purchased I really like it it's comfortable I feel like it, this is honestly well made so you know I'm not gonna say that this is a designer type of material because it's not but the material is good and it is comfortable. So from that standpoint, it's like, I'm not mad at it. And so that's why I'm making this video. It's to show you this is the product that I got after purchasing this product. I thought, shit, I probably should look at this and figure this out. I did a little research, found out, hey, there's not that much information. I still wanna share that with you guys because that's the whole point of this channel is to be transparent, to be honest, to talk to you guys, to be in a community and to talk about these situations. Uh, so yeah also I just want to say that something really good to say it's the amount of plus size uh, sizes that they have it's a very inclusive brand which that's something that I'm like that's amazing I really love that I think all brands should be as inclusive as possible I know that smaller brands are brands that are mom and pops it's a bit harder because you're making it by hand and it's a lot easier just to make small medium large but for these larger brands I think it's amazing when they start making stuff from all different sizes all different ranges for me I think that's the way that the world needs to move in the future but also the world needs to move in a way that's ethical that's sustainable and that we as individuals can feel happy about what we're purchasing and knowing that it's going to a good cause what we're buying so just something to think about. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you agree with me or if you don't agree with me, please leave a comment talking about it. Tell me what you think. Maybe you can even be like, damn kit, you should have done some research before purchasing this and I probably would have said yes. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys have an incredible morning, afternoon, or night wherever you are in the world. Please stay safe. If you enjoyed this video at any moment, please press a like. I have live streams for Atha Yoga and Yin Yoga on Mondays and Thursdays, so join me in the live. I hope that you guys are doing well, and I will see you soon. Ciao. Namaste.